Another week of demo down at the Heights house. Only 500 more weeks to go. Our team has made some progress. Most of the walls have been knocked down. They've started on the plumbing. And we actually found out that most of the subfloors and the ceiling also need to be ripped out and replaced. So that's going to push us back at least a week. We'll have more updates on that for you next week. But today, you know what I think we should do? What should we do? Let's go shopping. Ready? Let's do this. Body on my Showing you some of my favorite things to buy at Lowe's. I like this wood because it's lighter in color, so it takes stain well. It's not like the yellow or reddish wood, but it warps very easily, so you have to be careful. There's a lot of imperfections in this wood, and that's why it's so cheap. It's a hockey stick. We are going to the good wood. My aisle. This is where you build stuff. And we have your MDF, which is nice and smooth. This is your alternative to white wood. It's very smooth. It's a little more expensive, but it's better for higher quality furniture. Jenna's in her natural habitat. Oh, this one's new. Look how pretty. It's $18, so it's not super cheap. There's some nice table legs here. Jenna, what'd you do? <laughs> Someone loved a mirror so much they peed themselves. This is new. They have shiplap. Is that black? Is that burnt wood? Um. Why would they burn the wood? Because some people like that look. This is what I covered my walls with in my master bedroom when I did the whole paneling. I covered my textured drywall. So it's super thin. It's great for that, for covering walls. Only $8, still cheap. That? That's a grenade. Right? It's a grenade. <laughs> That's a good tub. That's a bad tub. I mean, it's beautiful. I give this tub an 8.5 out of 10. What are we looking at? We, okay, they have the best outdoor lighting. Look at This one. This is what I've used in the laundry room two houses ago. Do you remember these? They're only $40, I think. No, these are $25. Okay, maybe I use the bigger ones. It's hunter spray. What is this? It helps you hunt um, pesticides. All of these. What about them? I'm obsessed with them. Wood and metal. Good combination. You want to ride in six? Cracked pepper. This is the black color that I use. Bistro white. This is my go-to white from Valspar. Swiss coffee. I've used this before. This is a really nice neutral white. They don't have it here, but Woodlawn Colonial Gray is the gray I used in the last house, and I'm planning to use that on all of the doors in the tram in the next house. Electrical caps. They what do they it, do? They make it so you don't electric electrocute yourself. I don't know why they have different colors. Are they for, like, school children. I cannot live without the short handled brush for painting really sharp edges. You don't need any tape if you use this. And it's only six bucks. This is super cool. I could see this with like a black grout so it looks like a pattern tile. What do you think? I love this. Very flowery. Why do you need a spiral plunger? This is cute. I like this one a lot. One dollar? One dollar a piece? That's really good. They're records. <laughs> <laughs> they look like records. Oh. I don't think that would play very good music. <laughs> this is one of the floorings that we're considering for our next house. It's actually laminate, but it really looks like wood, doesn't it? And it feels like wood too. It's very textured. And it's only three dollars a square foot. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> so far, this is my favorite color, wheat and oak. But we're ordering a sample of another color to be delivered to the store. Probably going to end up going with laminate again instead of engineered wood. Because you can't beat the price. This is a... For our kitchen in our new house, we are doing this color, lamb's wool, with this shaker style called Gresham. 
in this is the diamond cabinet brand. Is it is it a is it a saw? A very dull saw? <laughs> this next house we want to do more of a marble look. So we heard that Silestone has a new marble looking quartz countertop, so that's what we're probably gonna go with. Who knows what this is? Do you know what this is? Milo's. Well that was fun. Did you have fun? That was exhausting. I'm still trying to figure out my way around all this DIY stuff. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. So, what now? Let's go to Target. 